natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms are falling Angels be calling no. Okay, so this is how the desk turned out, guys. It's very, it's decent. It's like, it's white. It's not too thick. The only thing I don't like about it is that there are spots on it. So I may have to do another coat of paint. And you can see here the part that I missed. It is literally an hour and 10 minutes later. This took me way longer than I thought it would. And let me just I would never do it in this kind of project again. I would rather have someone do this for me because it just caused so much of a freaking headache. It doesn't make sense. So anyways, now that I'm done, I'm just gonna look at my base photo album book so that I can pick out some cute pictures that I can hang up for motivation. Plus I, got new photos of him so I want to add those photos to this book oh my gosh oh my gosh these photos go back to when I first had him oh my god it goes all the way back to when I first had him in the hospital so freaking cute um but yeah so I'm gonna go through here and get some cute photos and hang them up and oh my god <laughs> so freaking cute. Okay, I found the one that I want to hang up. Um, and I'm done with this project. So, like I said, my chair isn't going to be here for a few more days. So, I've just been studying in my living room, which I don't mind. <laughs> I got to finish editing my calendar. And then I'm going to relax. So, yeah. That's that, guys. But this was the end of my DIY project made the candles plus i redid my entire desk area i'm gonna show you guys how it looks when it's all done i hid this box as much as i could i've been living here for almost two years now and have not needed to access it so i hope it stays that way but i will show you guys how it ended i'm just going through and adding all of my assignments that i have on my calendar that i downloaded onto my phone this is my class calendar i'm just adding these assignments onto this board plus like i said i'm going to be adding my assignments onto my ipad i personally really thrive from having access to several calendars so that's why i'm doing this you don't have to do this this is just what i do to prepare for my semester because i'd rather be able to be at my desk and not have to look at my phone and get distracted and just look up to see what assignments i have due or if i'm out and about and i don't have well, I'm going to always have my phone. But if I'm out and about and I just want to be able to pull out my iPad and look at my calendar, it will be on there as well with the student planner. Speaking of student planner, guys, I have teamed up with RecMed and they have provided me with a digital calendar. 
and I'm going to show you guys how I use a calendar to also add in my notes in my semester calendar and it is the coolest thing I have used thus far. I've been offered to do several collaborations with student planners but this is the only one I've accepted because this one was actually one that I wanted to purchase for myself when I first started nursing school but I didn't purchase it because of the price and I didn't think it would be very beneficial but I so regret it. I regret not getting it when I had the chance to because it's so much vital information that I really could have benefit from using it if I had got it when I, when I had first started nursing school. But to middle to model, I'm here now and I've passed those classes. So if you guys are freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, if you have not, I would totally recommend that um, calendar. Even as a senior, I still feel that it's very beneficial and I would certainly use it. I just wish that I had gotten it prior to getting to this class. The student planner contains content, but also it's a student planner. So it has like each month of the year. And then you have like really cool stickers that you can add in. You can copy and paste them. You can add things like here I have clinical. Or, I mean, it's going to say first day clinical. There they have an emoji and it says clinical. And then like I have L&D maternal slash ov slash lnd they have an emoji for it so it's the coolest thing ever if you have considered um, looking into a calendar or a planner i would recommend that one <laughs> digital calendar I'm just going in to add in all of my clinical days <clears throat> so I have maternal slash LND on every Monday and Wednesday for class and this is how I did it so it, here are the digital stickers and you go to any of the stickers um, I have LND here so I just use this tool to copy this, hold it down, take a screenshot, and then instead of exporting it out, you just copy. And go back here, <coughs> go back here to my digital planner, and then I just paste it to where it belongs. By holding it down again and pressing paste and then sorry that's not what I meant to do okay then minimize it to the size that you need it to be and sorry I'm gonna do that again 
paste it. Okay, as you can see, I got some other pieces in here, so I'm gonna edit out of here and go back and try to get the exact thing that I want circle. So just this. Take a screenshot. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, sorry. Take a screenshot. Go up here and copy it. I'm gonna go back to the planner. Paste it, and there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Additionally, I do have clinical on Saturdays. So I'm going to go back to the stickers and then go to clinical, circle what I want, just clinical. Take a screenshot, copy, same thing. And then I will go through every Saturday my clinical starts on the 15th and just paste it in there. And then I will continue it out. Some of the other stickers I want to show you guys is they have <coughs> clinicals, paper due, medication, email, then you have class, then you have gym, coffee, you need meetings, birthdays. And a whole bunch of different scissors and then also um iv then you have l d exam senior rotation er med surge icu geriatrics pediatrics and mental health so this would have been great if i also had this um starting off my school year i'm sorry starting off my nursing career i also have here quiz quiz study and so on I have done to my calendar. I'm officially done updating it and adding in all my assignments. Here's how things look. So this is my January calendar. And I have added all of my assignments. Um, I've used these stickers to add in when I have quizzes, the days that I need to study, um, when I have my exams, the days that I have clinical, and that's how it looks for the January calendar. I also created my February calendar. And here's how my February calendar looks. So same thing, my exams, the dates I don't have class, um, exam, quiz, clinical. I have an RUA assignment due on the 20th of February. Then my presentation due the following day. So I also added that in there. And uh, that is how it looks. I also added this at the end of each text just because it's a countdown of how long I have before I'm finished with the program. So if you guys want a shortcut of getting to these tabs here, so content, answers, labs, and anatomy, let me show you guys a quick way of having to do that versus the long manual way. So if you go the manual way, you have to click this icon and then scroll down right but if you do it this way you hit this icon here once you hit that you can then click on content and then once you go home content you can click on any of these here all right so then it gives you content answers and much more say you now want to go to the labs okay great as all the lab values the normal range what it is, the specimen that's being collected, and then the color of the tubes. Okay, great. Now I want to go back to home. Okay, now I'm back at the beginning of it again. So now, if I wanted to go to the calendars, this side here, January, February, and these are the calendars that I've created for my class. My new class will start here. And this is where I will use for my March calendar. In between each month, you do have here, it's a, another tab where you can add in information for clinicals, your priorities, your goals, assignments after clinical, and then additional writing space. Same thing here, a more detailed calendar of your day-to-day -day activities. And you can add even more information here. I have a few of those slides before it gets to the next month. Okay. 
Um, something else I want to show you guys. Go to content here. I'm obviously going to OB. Um, I can go here and click on any specific specialty or content that I want to learn about. So if I want to go to vitals, organs, diabetes, diabetes management, so on and so forth. EKG, which would be very vital for me to use once I get to critical care slash ICU. Um, and then you have your ABGs, which I was able to do some of the ABGs. Um, it was very interesting. After you complete the ABGs, they have the correct answers at the bottom. Totally recommend you doing those first just to know where you stand with things. Hit that to go back to the main stage for content. And then here for OB. <laughs> organizing and preparing for the semester i hope this video was very relaxing for you guys to watch as well if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe to this channel mm -hmm.